Welcome to Orlando Speed World for the kickoff of the Outlaw Diesel Super Series presented by Hot Shot Secret. I'm seeing some changes. There's some guys who are uh, stepping up in classes and trying to go faster, so I'm excited for them and seeing the progression. I do what I'm supposed to do, the truck will do what it's supposed to do. comeback runs like uh, Aaron Kerr able to go down the track after a pretty exciting end of their season last year. Uh, as they're stepping up, going from 670 to 590, he sits number two after Q1. What are you about to do? Well, hopefully around a 5.9.0. Okay. So, that's the plan anyways. You had two rounds of qualifying yesterday. How did that go for you? Good. 5.94 first pass, and then a 5.94 second pass. So, if we're just trying to get back to consistency. So if everything goes like it did uh, yesterday, I feel good about it. How are you feeling? It's first race of the year, back out again. Like, uh, glad to be... It's awesome. Glad to see everybody. The 
weather's great. We just had snow a week ago at home, so yeah, th this is awesome. What's your what's your game plan coming into this season? I don't think really much has changed, honestly. Just try to be consistent, uh, enjoy what we're doing. What we're doing, you know. Hell yeah. Uh, other than that, I think everything pretty much stays the same. This with my second gear band. Oh. Uh, I pulled the trans out Thursday morning, put it back in, made two passes, I and mean, everything was good. And then I readjusted it, and it went down a little farther than what we like. Yeah. And so, I don't know. I'm hoping that it stays together this pass, and if it does, awesome. If it doesn't, well, we'll figure it out from there, I guess. My line pressure was getting too low, I believe, because we had the shifts locking. It was shifting and locking at the same time, which talking to Logan Yelton drops at like 70 PSI. And so we move lock up out in second a little bit farther, and we pick up some mile per hour. And it went too fast yesterday, that's why I went 584. Yeah. And so we put that, we did that or whatever, and we're hoping that that fixes it this time. So we'll see. Good luck, brother. Thanks, man. There's only one way to do it. Yeah. A little faster, but... There. How was your qualifying so far? 5901. Okay. 5903. And then I went through and I ran it all the way out to see how bad it would break out. So I got to tap the brakes and let, let off right up to a mile per hour. Ten. Gotcha. So how are you feeling about going into, into E1? As long as I do what I'm supposed to do, the truck will do what it's supposed to do. That's it. Tap the brakes a little bit, you'll be in there, right? Yep. It's always better to have a little more than to be behind. Yeah. I'm glad it's out and I'm glad it's being consistent. Awesome. Hell yeah, brother. How you feeling about going in round one of the eliminations? Uh, well, we're broke, so oh. not very good. Up here and break the beams and get them next time. Get, get a little bit of points and then into uh, North Carolina in a couple weeks. North right? Carolina, two weeks, we'll be ready. Yep. I see a lot of the 590 guys showed up for the first event. Yeah. Like, nobody's gonna give up any extra points if they don't have to. It was so close last year that you, right. if you give up points, you just you're out of you're out you got to make everyone to make it count every point you can awesome thank you brother yes, can you please explain to these good people at home why your truck always sounds like it's like a v8 with a nasty cam it's always just up 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 what is called make the power at rpm sacrifice low wind smooth okay is it about the best we can get at idling because this pump blows so much fuel at high rpm this is about the best you can get at low rpm and it's it's still a mechanical pump, right? It is. That's the cruise well valve. Damn. Damn. You... 12 valve head, pump, set barrel, it's routed. 
And how have you been doing in qualifying so far? Uh, we've been uh, six flat so far. We had some nitrous issues. We got all that sorted out. So we're hoping to see E2 after this. Slow right. it down enough. I'm going to try. You're going to try. That was a little quick on the last one. 560 and then a 581. Okay. Pull some pulse width out of it. Adjust the suspension and see if we can slow it down. Maybe get a 596. There you go. Firebug Outlaw, Flying Body Index. Aaron Kerr has done a very good job this weekend. His return to racing. Qualifying on one. He's going to get the buy round in the round number two. Number one, brother. How does it feel? It feels great. What a weight off my shoulders. I know you were talking earlier about having like some trains troubles and stuff, and they I got did. it fixed. I did. We got it figured out. I don't know what changed. More pressure, I guess. And so I checked it after uh, checked the second gear band adjustment after every round, and, and it was perfect every time. So we ran with it, and then it just worked out for us in the end. First win of my career of for ODSS. So nice. that was pretty neat. Hell yeah. And with the 590 point series being so competitive every, every like, year, it's it's one of the tightest classes. Yep. Last year, I felt like you were kind of easing into it, and now you're yeah. coming out of the gate like. Yes, it felt like, like I said, it felt so good to get the win off my shoulders from last year because I second place a lot last year. So the first place this year feels great. Yeah. Are you are you gonna carry that energy into uh, North Carolina Absolutely. in a couple weeks? Absolutely. Be more dialed. I'm. I'm tracking everything and so when it comes to time and air density and all that stuff now so I'm more involved with it I think this year and hopefully bring the same luck to the city of North Carolina and in the UCC. Awesome.